Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News, and Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Cumbre Vieja La Palma volcano eruption update, and a spectacular one at that, Wednesday, September 29th, 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The lower vent is now merging with the upper vent. The Strombolian activity is becoming ever more amazing, and the lava river has made it to the sea. I'm sure many of you know that by this point. But let's just take a look at the latest volcanic ash advisory coming out moments ago. Volcanic ash emissions are now going to 12,000 feet or 3,700 meters. And the aviation color code is red, which means the uh, airport is still shut. And the latest updates coming from the island. Uh, the lava flow remains quite active and has already constructed a sizable new lava delta, reaching out perhaps a few hundred meters into the sea. At the active cone, the lower vent continues to produce a lava fountain and feed the main lava flow. And we showed that to you on the opening here. That's the lower vent. Um, the vents at the summit were seen generating dense ash columns drifting eastward towards the ocean. And here are some impressions of how the scene looked at 1 p.m. today. And, and this is the pictures they're talking about up here. Now, there also has been an uptick in seismicity as far as large quakes. Not small quakes. No, the the uh, seismic tremor is pretty s stable down here. And we reported yesterday right after this spike in this region. So it's been pretty similar. But the output of lava has increased. And that may have something to do with this uh, seismic swarm at depth between 10 and 15 kilometers occurring on the last 24 hours. This could be new um, sources of magma coming up from deep from the earth up into this uh, volcano zone. Now, that could mean a few things. Here is the current erupting fissure by the triangle. It could be, mean that further down the ridge here, another vent opens up, which could be bad news because if you take a look at the ridge here, this line here is the fissure, the crack, the slump line that would slump off this entire portion of the island. And that seismic swarm is right on top of that fault. If we were to put a center point, it's right there. We'll talk about that in just a moment. But first, we have some video of the lava reaching the sea last night. And what we're looking at, here's the lava river that goes up to the eruption, several kilometers. And the flat section that finally cascaded off the cliff here and now is creating that toxic lays, haze. Now, luckily, this is going to be blowing mostly south on the island, which is less populated. There's a huge city just to the north. And so that's good news as far as the weather patterns. We'll leave you links to all this information below. And we're just going to update this one more time and take another quick look at the seismic swarm. Earlier today, some scientists were fear-mongering that this cluster could represent bad news because of what I just shared with you. That has since uh, died down considerably albeit there's been larger quakes at depth. Now this is more indicative of a new magma source down here moving up to the volcano, and that's good news. Let's real quick take a look at the latest quakes near La Palma in the last 24 hours. Uh, the island was shaken by four quakes of magnitude three or above, which is some of the largest activity since the beginning of the eruption, and 15 quakes between two and three. So this is a, a moderately higher magnitude cluster of quakes and it could have everything to do with large amounts of magma being placed into the ground. Now this is confirmed earlier today by tiltimeters um, showing that there is more magma being placed because the ground deformation is going up. So that means that this volcano isn't done erupting anytime soon. Now if you don't know about bushcraft bear, you do now. And bushcraft bear lives on La Palma or has been visiting there at a very good time. And he's been reporting on the eruption like no one else is. He's doing investigative journalism. He's getting uh, views from all angles. He was one of the first people to cover this pseudo landslide. And with critical thinking, he realizes how insignificant it is as well, as well as we do when we pointed it out. We also pointed out that the mask he was wearing earlier today is insignificant to protect against lays. You need actually an N95 which still doesn't protect from a virus, but it does protect from microscopic volcanic glass getting into your lungs, causing mesothelioma and other cancers. So let's, in, I would like to introduce you to Bushcraft Bear and subscribe to his channel and down here in the comments, tell him that Diamond from 
Magnetic Reversal News sent you. Hello, my dear viewers. This is Bushcraft Bear speaking to you live here from the Canary Islands, La Palma. This is day number 11 of the volcano eruption and I just arrived here on the top of this hill. Today we will talk about what I experienced down there at the harbor. I was very close to the lava you can see here in the middle of the screen. We will Now that's a fantastic shot. He's got the entire eruption through the lava river, over the cliff and into the ocean. Very few people are showing this kind of detail. So I highly implore you to come over to check out Bushcraft Talk about Bear the landslide. Because he's generally just an, an awesome, super humble dude. And he's doing it for all the right reasons, which is why we support him. I mean, now, some fear mongering. Let's point out that Bill McGuire, volcanologist and fear monger, climate scientist, Amazon UK top 100 writer. <laughs> he tweets earlier today, he's worrying that the new deep quake swarm has become, has begun beneath Cumbrae Vid. This could herald a rise of more magma. Yes, he's true. And the fractures that opened up in 1949. So what he's, and he, he wanted to put hashtag tsunami, but he didn't. And so he did down here. <laughs> so there you go. That's just what's happening there. And luckily, here's his earthquake swarm that was increasing and now the updated version, there's a lot less activity in the last 12 hours. And no evidence of that fissure opening up a slump. But anything can change. Just like the island of La Palma has changed and is now larger than it once was. Now, for many of you that keep rehashing the rumors of the feared mega tsunami, um, let's just be clear that this was debunked by experts. It's all coming from the paper we shared 11 days ago by Dr. Day, suggesting an eruption of the Cumbre Vieja could dislodge a huge section of the island of La Palma. And I believe we even brought your attention to which section that is. And if not, I'll bring it to you right here. This is the crack. We're drawing a line on it. The crack on the island that this whole portion down here would detach and slide off to the sea. So we're watching this crack here to see if it's widening. Because if it's such a large piece, it's not going to go rapidly, we'll see it move and open up. But that's not what's happening. And in fact, the paper suggested about a decade ago that it could lead to a vast tsunami that would be 2,000 feet. At the point, the rock entered the water and still 150 feet when it reached America. Now, this spawns some fears, but Dr. Vallejo said the hypothesis, hypothesis of a massive collapse leading to mega tsunami has been rebutted and discarded, as we have said over the last week and shared with you many papers rebutting and discarding it. Now, I just want to go over in a talking point here what he points out. He points out that the collapse of the old summit would require a vast and extremely unlikely combination of eruption and earthquake or for the volcano to grow much bigger. Now, in my opinion, this would require um, a VEI 2 or 3 version explosion from this uh, volcano coupled with six magnitude earthquakes. And then we could see some movement along that crack. Now, Dr. Vallejo said for the old summit's flanks to meet the conditions close to instability would have to occur simultaneously in an exceptionally high magnitude earthquake and large magnitude volcanic eruption. Just what I just said. Or the current volcano building to reach its natural growth at least a thousand meters more above the current maximum elevation. So we're not at that point yet. And the whole idea of a mega tsunami is kind of ludicrous when you even look at the logistics. And that's a boom to science and knowledge. And we're gonna to end tonight with some live screen, full screen footage coming from the Canary Islands of the spectacular eruption at Cumbre Vieja in La Palma. Now, what we do have to report tonight, just as a synopsis, is that higher magnitude earthquakes are now clustering at depth between 10 and 15 kilometers. The inflation meters or the tiltimeters on the surface of the island are showing more magmas being in place and the ground is moving upward and we're waiting to see what that means. Now, if all the pressure can re be released here from this vent, then there will be no additional vents. But the worry is that the new vents forming 
or, or the earthquake swarm forming is south of the current vents where other vents are obvious here. You can see there's a vent, there's an old vent, there's a vent, there's another vent, here's a vent, and there's another vent. And then boom, boom, two more, and another one over here. Lots of calderic cinder cones here, which the lava may come up again. And if you just, based on this deep seismos here, it could be that the magma chute coming up to the fissure is at a diagonal here from this region up into the actual current vent. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on it for you. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. Check out two twice daily updates from Bushcraft Bear. Tell them Diamond from Magnetic Reversal News sent you. And that's a boom to knowledge. Be safe. We love you. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And we'll see you in the morning. Nee, 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 nee.